A very easy way to do a reference arrestor is by using a plugin that you have to install. It's called the Freehand Georeferencing uh, Geo um, Raster Tool plugin. If you want to find it, just go to your plugins and look for georeferencing. So there it is, Freehand Raster Georeferencer. It's already installed here. If you haven't got it installed, just install it through the interface. It is installed. Just make sure that you can see it. There it is. And what this tool allows you to do, it allows you to interactively stretch a raster by using your mouse and the buttons on your mouse. It's not like the georeferencer using the GDAL method. Slightly different. It is not the preferred method either. The other one is much more reliable and you should always choose that method first. That would be the raster georeferencer. But you can also use this method. So you will have to add your image through the plugin. So you browse to your root folder where your image is. And it's very important that your screen is zoomed to the extent that the raster must now fit into. That's why I zoomed to the, um, the boundaries, the, the farm boundaries and the roads before the time. Add the image, here it is. You can increase and decrease the transparency but that is basically your raster. What you can do now is you can either move the raster, you can rotate it if you want to, you can scale it, adjust the size of the raster. So if, it says, so if I say scale, I can basically just stretch the raster according to the image. So I'm just clicking on the image and I'm scaling it to fit the image. Then I can move it, put it more in place and as you can see this is actually quite a simple and straightforward way of uh, adjusting the raster if you want to call it that. It's not perfect of course but it has its uses. So that all seems to overlap fairly well. When you're done all you have to do is export the raster to world file so you give it a different name and export it. And what you can do now is you can check if it worked. So you go back to where you stored your rest and you add it in and if it draws where it should, like you can see now, it drew in, then you can say that you have georeferenced this particular raster. But just to note again, this is not the preferred method, however, it does work as well.